So a very good morning to all the students. Uh, so in conic sections, we have already uh, discussed all the exercises of the circles. So today we will start a new chapter in conic section that is parabola. So uh, without wasting any time, let's move to the uh, first exercise, this exercise one. Uh, so here's our first question. It is saying the vertex of the parabola. So one parabola is given here and we have to identify its vertex means we have to find the coordinates of its vertex. Now parabola, what is the parabola given? It is given as y square, y square plus 6x minus 2y plus 13 equal to 0. Okay. So uh, what we will do, we will uh, try to make a perfect square in y and then we will compare with our standard form of the uh, parabola. So uh, let's do it. This will be y square minus 2y uh, plus 1. Let me add plus 1 and subtract 1 from this. So actually it will become our y minus 1 whole square. So now this will be rest, rest of the things will remain as it is. So plus 6x plus 13 equal to 0. So it will become y minus 1 whole square. Then take these things to the right hand side. It will be minus 6 plus 12 means minus 12, right? So uh, further, if you see, it can be written as if we take minus 6 common, it will be x plus 2, right? So uh, this parabola is of the form this, our standard parabola minus 4ax, right? So we will compare with this. So uh, what is this? Our equation is basically an equation of parabola with the shifted with the shifted vertex. So what will be vertex for this uh, parabola? It will be basically, if you see vertex for this, what we used to uh, get vertex, this uh, y equal to 0 and our x is equal to 0. So uh, similarly, if you compare it here, we can get, we will get this y minus 1 equal to 0 and our x plus 2, our x plus 2 will be equal to 0. From here, we get x is equals to minus 2, right? And uh, from here, we get y equal to 1. So uh, basically, basically it will be um, how this parabola will uh, look like. Let me uh, draw a rough sketch. So it will be basically like this way. Right? Uh, so its vertex will be here. Its vertex will be the coordinates of vertex will be minus two comma one, minus two comma one. Right, and its axis, its axis will be parallel to our x-axis. Its axis will be parallel to our x-axis. What does it mean? I mean, uh, this will be our y-coordinate, right? This will be our y-axis, and our x-axis will be something like this. So this parabola represents is of the form y square is equal to minus 4x with shifted vertex whose vertex is minus 2 comma 1, right? So basically uh, this option A is given here, minus 2 comma 1. So this will be the vertex of this parabola. So let's move to the next question. Uh, this question number 2. It is given uh, if the parabola y square is equal to 4x, 4ax passes through 3 comma 2, then the length of the lattice rectum. So uh, the standard form of the parabola is given here. So no issue at all. This is our uh, y square is equal to 4ax. Now this parabola is passing through this 3 comma 2. This parabola is passes through, right, passes through any point P. Suppose I am taking this point as P, whose coordinates are 3 comma 2. So it must, uh, it must, uh, this point must satisfy the equation of parabola. So it will be equal to 4 is equal to 4a into 3, right? 4a into 3. Now for this parabola, what is the length of the lattice rectum? What is the length of lattice rectum for this standard parabola? 
the length of the lattice rectum is actually 4a. So we actually need to find the value of this 4a, right? So from here, from this equation, you see uh, 4 by 3 will be equal to 4a. So this will be our answer. This will be the length of lattice rectum, right? This will be the length of lattice rectum. So this option D is there. This is what is asked in the question, the length of lattice rectum. So it will be uh, simply 4 by 3. Now let's see the next question, question number 3. It is saying the value of P such that Y equal to X square plus 2 PX plus 13 is 4 units above the X axis. Okay. So if you observe, uh, the equation of parabola is given as Y is equal to X square plus 2 PX plus 13, right? So basically this is of the form, this AX square plus PX plus C. This parabola is of this form, right? And here A is greater than 0, like A is equal to 1, that is greater than 0. So what does this mean? This mean this will be this parabola. This parabola represents upward opening parabola. Represents upward opening parabola. Represents upward opening parabola since A is equal to, uh, sorry, A is equal to 1 that is greater than 0. So it represents upward opening parabola. And uh, uh, its axis will be, its axis will be parallel to, its axis will be parallel to Y axis. Right? Will be parallel to Y axis. Okay. So uh, if we uh, draw a rough sketch like, this will be our rough sketch of this parabola. Right. So uh, this will be the axis of the parabola. Okay. And uh, uh, there will be x axis somewhere around here. So this will be our x axis. Okay. And uh, this is our vertex. Okay. Its uh, distance from x axis is this distance is given as 4 units. Right. This distance is given as 4 units. Now, for this type of parabola, for this type of parabola, parabola of this form, uh, the coordinates of B are the coordinates of vertex. Coordinates of uh, vertex is minus B upon 2A, comma, minus D upon 4A. This will be the coordinates of vertex of parabola of this form. So, uh, if you observe here, uh, this minus D upon 4A, what will be the value of D basically in this equation, in this particular uh, given uh, equation? It will be B squared means 4P squared minus 4A into C that is 13. Now, uh, the y coordinate, the y coordinate of vertex, y coordinate of vertex will be equal to minus d upon 4a. That is nothing but uh, minus d means we can write it as 4 into 13 uh, minus 4p square upon 4a. Therefore, a is 1. So uh, this will be 1. And this y coordinate is nothing but the distance from the x axis right so uh, it will be equal to 4 so from here if you see uh, this 4 4 will be uh, gets cancelled out means we can simply uh, cancel it off so it will become 13 minus p square is equal to 4 from here we get p square is equal to 9 or P is nothing but plus minus 3. Okay. So this will be the value of P. Right. This will be the value of P for the vertex of this parabola to be 4 units from the x-axis. Let me write here also. The coordinates of uh, this V will be uh, minus B upon 2A. This will be the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate will be equal to minus T upon 4a. Okay. So, hope this is uh, clear to all. So, let's check this next question. So, 
So in the question number four, it is given the length of the lattice rectum of the parabola, uh, whose focus is uh, three comma three, and directrix is three x uh, minus four y minus two. Okay, so uh, let me let me draw one uh, rough sketch for this. So we are drawing a parabola in this way only. There is no other options like anyhow. So this is our parabola. Let me erase some part of it. Okay. Okay. And uh, then directrix is also given and focus is also given for this parabola. Okay. So here, if you see the focus of this parabola is, let me denote it as uh, S. Okay. The focus is given as 3 comma 3. And uh, the equation of directrix, this equation of directrix is given as 3x minus 4y minus 2 equal to 0. Okay. Now we need to find the uh, length of lattice vector. So uh, in parabola, uh, this vertex, this is our vertex, no? So actually vertex, let me uh, call this point as P, the intersection point of this uh, axis. And uh, this is our axis of parabola, no? So let me uh, call this intersection point of P, uh, sorry, axis and uh, directrix as P. So basically this V vertex, vertex is the midpoint is the midpoint of what ps means vertex v which i am representing as uh, as v so v is the midpoint of ps and what is this distance if you observe this distance is basically a and this distance is also a hope this is uh, these things are clear to everyone like uh, while uh, uh, Having studied this uh, parabola chapter, you came across uh, all these uh, questions and hope this is uh, known to all of you, right? So uh, what I what I will be doing here, uh, I will try to uh, find the value of A. How can we find? Like we can find the perpendicular distance from S on this line. Like we can find this SP, no? SP, we can find it out. What will be uh, that? It will be perpendicular distance from focus on this line. So uh, let me write it. This will be uh, 3 into 3 uh, minus 4 into 3 minus 2 in mod and under root of a square plus b square that is nothing but 3 square plus 4 square and this is equal to 2 times a. Okay. So uh, how much it's coming? If you see, this will be 9 minus 12 minus 14. So uh, minus 14 plus 9, that is minus 5. Uh, minus 5 come out upon this will be 5 is equals to 2. So basically our 2a comes out to be 1. From here we get uh, a is equal to what? 1 by 2, right? And uh, what we are going to find in this question, okay, the length of lattice rectum. So length of lattice rectum is nothing but, length of lattice rectum is nothing but uh, four times A. That will be four times of this half that will be equal to two units, right? So this option B is correct. <clears throat> now let's move to the next question, question number five. Okay, so here it is. If the vertex and focus of parabola are this and this respectively, then it's a question. Okay, so we are uh, provided with the vertex and focus of a parabola. And we need to find the equation of uh, parabola. Okay, so uh, what is the vertex, the coordinates of vertex? 
So the coordinates of vertex are this three comma three, right? And uh, coordinates of focus are minus three comma three. Okay, so if you observe the y coordinate of this vertex and focus is same. This y coordinates are same. Y coordinates are same. So uh, one thing is sure, like uh, our parabola, our parabola's axis will be uh, what you say parallel to x-axis. This is clear from uh, uh, this uh, coordinates, coordinates of this vertex and focus. Okay, and uh, so uh, what can be our parabola it means how our parabola will look like. So uh, suppose this is our x-axis, okay. So this is our supposed x-axis. So uh, the axis of parabola will be parallel to this, okay. So our parabola will look something like this. So this will be our vertex and this will be our focus, okay. So uh, what is the coordinate of focus? This is minus 3 comma 3 and the coordinates of vertex is 3 comma 3. Okay, coordinates of focus is minus 3 while x coordinate of vertex is 3. So, uh, not this one. Our parabola will uh, actually look like this. Our parabola will be like this. This will be the, uh, this is our x axis. This will be the axis of parabola. Its vertex is given as what? 3 comma 3. And uh, its focus is minus 3 comma 3. Okay. So basically, our uh, parabola will be of this form. Right. So uh, this will be basically of what you say. How can we write uh, the standard? parabola of this form, we write it as uh, y square is equal to minus 4x. Right. Y square is equal to minus 4x. Now, uh, we know uh, this is the case of the shifted vertex, right? This is the case of the shifted vertex. So, our equation will be like case of shifted vertex, no? So our uh, equation of parabola will be this y squared means y minus vertex chi squared, right? So y minus alpha squared plus, sorry, no plus. So y minus 3 squared is equal to uh, minus 4a x minus 3, right? We normally used to write in uh, this form, no? y minus alpha whole squared is equal to minus 4a into x minus beta. So what is alpha here? Alpha is 3 here. Uh, what is beta here? Beta is also 3. Vertex, uh, coordinates of vertex, right? And uh, if you see um, this 4a, this 4a thing, uh, not 4a, this distance will be basically a. This distance will be a, right? So if you see our a will be, our a will be equal to what? Uh, 3 minus of minus 3, that will be equal to 6. Okay, let me write it as capital M since I have taken capital M here. So uh, now uh, open it. So it will be y squared uh, plus 9 minus 6y, right, is equal to minus 4 into a, that is minus 24 x minus 3. So it will be basically y squared minus 6y uh, plus 24x plus 24x, this will be plus 72 and uh, while coming to this side, it will be minus 72 plus 9, that is minus 63. 
is equal to zero. So uh, this will be our this will be our final answer. This will be the equation of the required sum. Y square minus six y plus twenty four x minus sixty three equal to zero. So this option C is correct. Okay. So uh, let's take the next question. This question number six. What is given here? If the vertex of the parabola y is equal to x square minus 8x plus c lies on x axis, then the value of c. Okay, we have done this uh, similar type of question earlier also, I think second or third one. So uh, this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Right? This parabola is of the, this form. What is uh, that? y is equal to uh, x square uh, minus 8x plus c. Okay. Its vertex is uh, lying on the x-axis. Its vertex is lying on x-axis. Okay. So this is our x-axis. Okay. And this is our vertex. This is vertex. <laughs> so basically, uh, it's a y-coordinate. It's y-coordinate of vertex. Vertex uh, y-coordinate y coordinate y coordinate of vertex will be equal to 0 so what is the y coordinate of vertex it is minus d upon 4a minus d upon 4a is equal to 0 now what is the value of this d this is b square uh, b square means what 64 uh, minus 4 times a is 1 and c so uh, this will be minus of 64 minus 4c upon 4a. 4 is equal to 0. So from here, if you see, uh, minus 64 plus 4c is equal to 0. So from here, we get c is equal to 16. c equal to 16. So this will be our answer. Option c is correct. Now see this question number 7. It is saying the parabola having its focus at 3, 2 and directrix along the y axis has its vertex at. Okay, so uh, let me draw one rough sketch for this. So parabola is given and its vertex is known to us. So Okay, so this one is a parabola. Directrix is along the y-axis. Okay, its directrix is along the y-axis. So let me uh, call it as directrix and it will be along y-axis. Okay. So let me draw the axis of the parabola also. And uh, what is known to us? Okay, its focus is known to us. And we need to find the vertex. Okay, I think we are done with this. So, this is our focus. Okay, this is our focus is whose coordinates are 3, 2. And uh, this is our directrix. Whose, uh, which is along the y-axis means this is x equal to 0 is the basically the directrix of this parabola. Directrix of this parabola. So uh, we need to find since x equal to 0 means this is y-axis particularly. So if you observe if this x equal to 0 is the directrix of this parabola means this axis will axis of this parabola will be parallel to this axis of parabola will be parallel to x-axis. Hope you all will agree with this. So axis of parabola will be parallel to x-axis. Why? Because this axis of parabola and this directrix are mutually perpendicular to each other. Means perpendicular to each other. Now we need to find this vertex now. 
we need to find the coordinates of vertex. Uh, so uh, let me call this point of interaction of uh, intersection of this uh, axis and directrix as P. So uh, V will be the midpoint, right? So V will be V will be midpoint of this P is midpoint of P is right. So how can we find and what will be the coordinate of this P? What will be the coordinate of P? Its coordinate will be this. Its x coordinate will be zero because it will lie on the directrix. And what will be its y coordinate? Its y coordinate will be equal to y coordinate of focus. So uh, why? Because its axis is parallel to x axis. So we know the coordinates of P. We know the coordinates of S. We can easily find the coordinates of V. So what will be the coordinates of V? It will be uh, this three plus zero upon two comma uh, two plus two, two plus two upon two. This will be the coordinate of V. That will be nothing but three by two comma two. Right, four divided by two will be two only. So, any options given here? Three by two comma two. Yeah, seven. Uh, this option B is correct. <laughs> so let's move to the next question. This question number eight. The directrix of the parabola. This, okay. So we need to find the directrix of this parabola. So, as usual, we can uh, we will try to make a rough sketch for this. Okay, we will try to make a rough sketch for this. There is uh, no option for this shape of parabola. So we have to draw this ellipse and circle, and then we has to erase it. Okay, anyhow. Mm. No, this parabola we have drawn and we need to find this equation of this, its directrix. Okay, so let's try this out. Equation of parabola is given to us, right? So this equation of parabola is basically x square uh, minus 4x minus 8y plus 12 equal to 0. Let's uh, try to make a, a perfect square in next. Then we will uh, compare with the standard form and we will have the coordinates of vertex. Right. So how can we make it a perfect square in X? So X square minus 4X means uh, X square minus 2 into 2X. That is I'm adding plus 4 and I'm subtracting 4. Okay. So it will be basically X minus 2 whole square. So plus four minus four we have done. What are the rest of the things that will be remain same? That will remain same. That will minus four x, and uh, this plus twelve equal to zero. So this will become x minus two whole square, right? X x square minus four x plus four. Okay, so it's fine only. And uh, take these things to the right hand side. It will be a uh, four x uh, plus twelve minus four plus eight. While coming to this side, it will be uh, minus 8, right? Minus 4x will become 4x. This thing will become minus 8. Okay. Uh, oh, I am taking 4x again here. It will be minus 8, why no? It will be minus of 8y. Okay. So this will be 8y. This will be 8y mm, minus 8. Okay. So I think it's clear. So x minus 2 whole squared is equal to 8 times y minus 1. Now oh, what we can do, it's a case of the shifted uh, vertex. And uh, the standard form for this type of parabola will be x square is equal to uh, this 4ay. This will be the uh, standard uh, parabola of this form. So what will be vertex for this? Vertex for this will be x minus 2 equal to 0. x minus 2 equal to 0. From here we get x is equal to 2. Uh, and uh, this y minus 1 equal to 0 or y equal to 1. So our vertex have, uh, having the coordinates of this 2 and 1. 
So the coordinates of vertex we got and uh, coordinates of uh, our focus. Okay, it's not given. We are having the, we have to find the equation of parabola. Okay, we will uh, try it out. Now, uh, if you observe, we can, what else can we find from here? Uh, we can find the value of A also. So like 4A is equal to 8, means our A is equal to 2. Okay. So these three informations, we uh, found the, this vertex coordinates, coordinates of vertex, and we found the value of this A. Now we need to find the uh, directrix of parabola. No? So this is our directrix basically. This is our directrix. So, uh, for this type of, uh, uh, this form of parabola, our directrix is basically this uh, y equal to minus a, right? For this, directrix is equal to, directrix is equal to, um, what will be directrix? It, uh, x equal to, it is of the form x square is equal to 4a, y, no? Okay, so uh, basically this parabola will be not like this. This is wrong, basically. Our parabola will be uh, upward opening. Upward opening. So our parabola will be not of this form. It will be of this form. So uh, this is wrong sketch, actually. Why? Because it is of the form uh, x square is equal to 4a1. So it will be, our parabola will be like this. Okay. Uh, our parabola will be like this with shifted uh, vertex. And our uh, directrix will be somewhere here. So let me uh, take it as directrix. This will be our directrix. This will be our directrix. And uh, what is the uh, coordinates of this vertex? Coordinates of vertex is coming out to be 2 comma 1. Okay. So uh, what will be a directrix for this uh, standard uh, parabola? It's basically y equal to y equal to a, right? y equal to a. y equal to a or y minus a equal to 0, right? So uh, what is y in this case? It is y minus 1. y minus 1. Sorry. Uh, for this standard parabola, this will be y uh, equal to minus a or we can say this y plus a, y plus a is equals to 0. This is the directrix for uh, this standard parabola. So let me write it clearly. It will confuse you all. So uh, it will be y plus a equal to zero directrix for uh, this standard form. So for this form, it will be y minus one. Like in place of y, we uh, we will write y minus one. And what is the value of a? That is two. This equal to zero. From here, we get y equal to y plus one equal to zero or y equal to minus one. So this will be the uh, directrix of our uh, required uh, circle, okay? So, okay, let me uh, represent it by capital Y, otherwise will be problem. Since we have uh, taken the standard form as this, no, capital X square is equal to 4A by, so its directrix will be Y plus A equal to zero. Now, uh, replace the value of Y, in our original uh, parabola, it's basically y equal to y minus 1. So y minus 1 plus a, a we, uh, we have found it out already. So y minus 1 plus 2 equal to 0. From here, we get y equal to minus 1. That will be our answer to this question. So this option C is correct. Okay. Now, uh, this parabola, what we have done, uh, drawn earlier, that is wrong, basically. This is the uh, right parabola. <clears throat> so, 
that's why after writing the equation oh, we could have uh, like uh, we could have drawn the uh, parabola but uh, earlier before uh, writing the equation we have drawn so it came out to be uh, wrong so this question number nine let's check it out uh, the equation of uh, lattice vector of parabola this okay so one parabola is given here this x square plus 4x plus 2y equal to 0. Okay, so we need to find the equation of lattice rectum. So first, uh, let me uh, try to write in the form of standard uh, form of parabola. So I will try to make the perfect square in x. So this will be x square plus 4x. What can we do? We can add plus 4 and we can subtract 4 from this. So what it will become? It will become x plus 2 whole squared, x squared plus 4 plus 4x, right? And uh, take it to a uh, right hand side. It will be a minus 2y plus 4, okay? So x plus 2 whole squared, take uh, minus 2 common. This will be y uh, minus 2, okay? So it is of this form, x square is equal to minus 4ay with shifted vertex, no doubt, right? So uh, we can now make a rough sketch, okay? We don't need uh, a sketch for this also. So from here, if you see, uh, while comparing this, uh, while comparing this, what we uh, got, we got 4a, the value of 4a is equal to 2. So a will be equal to basically uh, a will be equal to one by two. Okay. Mm. Okay. We need. I think we need a sketch for this. So uh, let me draw. Let me draw the one rough sketch for this. Uh, so this will be basically. Yeah. It will be like downward opening parabola, right? And uh, we need to find the equation of lattice vector. So let me draw the axis also. Axis for this parabola, it will be our axis. It will be our directrix. Okay, and let me draw this lattice vector also. Okay, okay. so if you see we need to find this equation of this uh, lattice rectum right mm, and this if this is our vertex okay so what will be vertex for this basically the vertex for this will be vertex for our parabola will be uh, minus 2 like what we will do we will equate this x plus 2 equal to 0 from here we get x equal to minus 2 Right, and uh, we will equate this y minus 2 equal to 0. From here, we get y equal to 2. This is uh, the, what we get. So the vertex will be basically minus 2 upon 2. So this vertex will be uh, minus 2 upon 2. And uh, a is coming out to be half, right? So this distance is basically a, no? This is our a. This is our a. So the equation of AB, if you see, equation of AB will be, uh, this will be minus half. And what will be this focus, if you see? What will be this focus? So basically, let me write the coordinates of focus. So it will be uh, minus two, sorry. Uh, will be minus 2 and minus of this a. This is a and since it is a uh, opening uh, downward parabola, downward opening parabola, so it will uh, subtract like the y coordinate, the x coordinate of this. Okay, the x coordinate will remain same. The x coordinate of this will remain same since it is a downward opening parabola. Its axis will be, its axis will be basically 
एक्सिस ऑफ दिस पैराबोला एक्सिस ऑफ दिस पैराबोला विल बी पैरल टू विल बी पैरल टू वाई एक्सिस राइट सो दिस वॉट यू से एक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ फोकस द एक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ फोकस विल बी सेम एज द एक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ एक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ फोकस will be same as the x coordinate of vertex that is nothing but minus 2 and what will be our y coordinate of focus y coordinate of focus it will be reduced by this half means by this a so our uh, y coordinate will be 2 uh, minus this a that is nothing but minus of half so 2 minus half is 3 by 2 okay so uh, this is the what you say this is what we got the coordinates of s but whether we need to find that we need to find the equation of lattice vector right so uh, this lattice vector if you see what will be slope of this what will be slope of ab slope of ab will be equal to 0 only slope of ab will be equal to 0 since it is parallel to x axis right so y and it is passing through ab is passing through this focus okay so it's must uh, it must satisfy uh, so y equal to this 3 by 2 this will be our equation of ab right y equal to 3 by 2 this will be our equation of ab because this uh, ab is parallel to our x axis okay so we could have uh, directly found the y coordinate of focus only and we could have written the uh, equation maybe anyhow uh, so on simplify if you see this will be nothing but 2y equal to 3 or 2y minus 3 equal to 0 same thing so option c is given here it will be our equation of lattice vector ab is our lattice vector <clears throat> so we are done with this question number 9 now the focus of the parabola so one parabola is given here uh, x square x square minus 8x plus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0 okay and uh, we need to find the focus of the parabola so uh, let me write it as x square Uh, minus 8x means 2 into 4. I think we have to add and subtract 16. So this will become x uh, minus 4. x minus 4 whole square, right? Plus 2y uh, plus 7 minus 16 is equal to 0. So it will become x minus 4 whole square. X square plus 16 minus 8x, right? And uh, what this thing will become it will be minus 2y and minus 16 plus 9 plus 7 no so uh, minus 9 while coming this side it will be uh, plus 9 okay so this will uh, further we can write it as x minus 4 whole square uh, minus 2 take minus 2 common because we have to uh, represent it in the standard form so it will be y and minus 9 by 2 is it okay minus 2y plus 9 the same thing but why we have taken this minus 2 common to make it as in the form of our standard parabola that is nothing but our x square is equal to uh, minus 4a by right so what will be the vertex of this vertex vertex of this parabola will be basically uh, Uh, minus four, sorry, plus four, 
means my x minus 4 will we will equate this to 0 so from here we get x equal to 4 and uh, y coordinate will be a 9 by 2 right and it will be x square is equal to minus something right so it will be a downward opening parabola it will be a downward opening parabola so a rough sketch if you say the rough sketch of this parabola will be something like this and uh, so we uh, we got the this we got the value means we got the coordinates of vertex but we need to find the uh, focus right so vertex is basically 4 comma uh, 9 by 2 okay we can do one thing from here we can find the value of a also so uh, this 4 a is equal to 2 so what will be a a will be equal to 1 by 2 okay uh, so since this is a downward opening parabola right so uh, the y coordinate will be uh, x coordinate of focus will be same x coordinate of focus will be same but this y coordinate will be let, let me write it x uh, coordinate x coordinate of focus will be equal to x coordinate of x coordinate of vertex that is equal to 4 and uh, y coordinate of uh, focus will be equal to it will reduce by this a a quantity since this is our a this distance is basically a so it will be 9 by 2 minus of half right so 9 by 2 minus half means what this 4.5 means 4 it will also become 4 so this will be our coordinate of focus this 4 comma 4 okay so this option b is correct so uh, we are done with this let's move to the next question question number 11 okay the equation of parabola with focus this and directrix this so x equal to minus 3 is the directrix of parabola and focus okay <clears throat> so this is our directrix okay x is equal to minus three. so its axis will be the axis of parabola will definitely be parallel to x axis and uh, we are given the focus also and we need to find the equation of parabola okay so uh, this is our directrix basically directrix of parabola and its equation is x plus 3 equal to 0 means x equal to minus 3 okay and uh, uh, this is our focus this is our focus whose coordinates are uh, 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 okay so uh, definitely if you see uh, the parabola will be of the form y square is equal to y square is equal to 4ax our parabola our required parabola will be of this form right and uh, if you see what is uh, the what will be the value of uh, a here what will be a value of a here now first may, uh, let me uh, find the equation of sorry the coordinates of vertex let me find first the coordinate of vertex so uh, its y coordinate will be zero only its y coordinate will be zero and uh, if you see this two way this is a right this whole distance between uh, this focus and directrix is two way so this two a is equal to this two a will be equal to how much 
uh, 3 minus 8, that is 6. So A will be equal to 3, basically. So A will be equal to uh, 3. So basically, the vertex will lie on 0, 0. This will be the vertex. Right. So this will be our vertex. So uh, the form of our equation will be equation of parabola will be equal to y equal to y square is equal to 4ax only. Right. So since the vertex of this is coming out to be what is it? So uh, what is the value of a? So 4 into 3 will be 12. 12x. Y square is equal to 12x. So this will be our uh, equation of the required parabola. Okay, you could have uh, obtained the vertex uh, by using that method also, like uh, we will be the midpoint of this piece, right? From there, we you can calculate the, sorry, you can uh, get the vertex of, coordinates of vertex. And uh, from uh, the concept of this A, also we got the equation, uh, sorry, the coordinates of vertex. So actually, uh, this will be our, if you see, no, this will be our y-axis. So basically, it uh, becomes our standard parabola. Only. So this will be our y-axis, and its axis will be the axis of parabola will be nothing but x-axis, right? So this was our question number eleven. Let's take it the next question. Just a minute. So yeah, take now we have to take question number twelve. So what is this question saying? It is saying uh, equation of the parabola whose axis is parallel to y-axis and which passes through the points this, this, and this. Okay. So basically, we are having one parabola. Uh, whose axis is parallel to y-axis. So uh, let me draw one uh, rough sketch of the parabola. So uh, this will be like a rough sketch of our parabola whose axis is parallel to y-axis, right? So uh, it will be basically a uh, upward opening parabola, okay? So uh, for such parabolas, uh, we can assume the equation as y is equal to this ax square, right, plus bx plus c, okay? And uh, it is passing through points, this a, b, c, let me name it as a, 1 comma 0, okay? Uh, this b, which is basically 0 comma 0, okay? And this is c, which is minus 2 comma 4. So uh, this parabola is basically uh, passing through these points and this is our axis of the parabola. Okay, so all these three points should uh, satisfy right the equation of the parabola. So uh, let's put that values in this equation and from there we will uh, try to find this value of a, b and c. Okay, so uh, first point is a whose coordinates are 1 comma 0. So it will be basically y is 0, so 0 is equal to this uh, a plus b and plus c. So uh, this will be our first equation. Now let's put this point b. So it will be 0 equal to c. From here we are getting c is equal to 0, right? And uh, c that is minus 2 comma 4. So it will be basically 4 is equal to uh, x square means what? 4, 4a. Four 4a and uh, minus 2 into b that will be uh, minus 2b and plus c. So this will be basically our third equation. Okay. So from here we already got the value of c as 0. So uh, let me write it as, let me rewrite the equation uh, first as a plus b equal to 0 and uh, this will be our 4a. Okay. 4a 
uh, minus 2b c is already 0 so i am not writing that c 4a minus 2b is equal to 4 okay then multiply this by 2 and add it add it then it will be uh, this 2a 2a plus 2b is equal to 0 now add these two equations okay so after adding these two equations what we will get these two will be cancelled out so our uh, 6a will be equal to 4 from here we got a is equal to 2 by 3 okay once this value of a is got this a plus b is equal to 0 so b will be our minus of 2 by 3 and c is known to us already c is equal to 0 now put the value of a b c in the equation okay so what we get the equation of parabola is uh, 2 by 3 x square okay uh, minus 2 by 3 x plus 0 so let's take 3 lcm it will be a uh, 2x square minus 2x okay so finally what we got this 2x square minus 2x is equal to 3y this will be our final equation of parabola 2x square minus 2x equal to 3y okay so this option b is correct so let's move to the next question this question number this was question number 12 right so we have to take now this question number 20. okay Question number 13. Okay, now it's a, a subjective questions. Okay. Find the equation of the parabola whose focus is 5, comma 3 and directrix is the line this. So okay. we should draw one rough sketch for this. So let me draw this. So this is our directrix, okay, and uh, this will be our axis to the parabola. Now what we need to find, we we know the focus, okay. So uh, this will be our focus, whose coordinates are uh, five comma three, and this is our directrix, whose equation is three x uh, minus four y plus 1 is equal to 0 okay and now what we need to find we need to find the equation of parabola so uh, how can we approach this like um, we can do one thing uh, we can uh, assume any point on this parabola okay p was uh, let me write its coordinate as h comma k okay so this ps will be equal to uh, pm what i will do i will draw uh, this thing so this ps is equal to pm this is the definition of a parabola itself so uh, the path traced by any point whose distance from any fixed point that is focus is equal to distance from any uh, fixed line that is directrix. So uh, PS is equal to PM or we can say this PS square is equal to PM square. Okay, so how can we get this length PS? It will be H minus 5, okay, H minus 5 whole squared plus K minus 3 whole squared and that will be equal to PM. What will be PM basically? Uh, it will be this 3h minus 4k, 3h minus 4k plus 1, 
whole divided upon this mod thing. This will be under mod under root of three square plus uh, four square. And this complete thing we have to take square, right? So uh, from here, if you see, from here, if we see uh, what we have to do, we have to expand this, right? Okay, then let's open this brackets. So this will be h square plus 25 minus 10h uh, plus k square plus 9 uh, minus 6k. Okay, this whole thing, this will be 5, 5k squared purchase. So let's multiply it, cross multiply it. And uh, this thing will be a plus b plus c whole square. So we open it, uh, a square plus uh, b square then uh, plus c square plus 2ab here it will be uh, 2 3 6 into 4 that is uh, minus 24hk right then plus 2bc 2 into 4 that is minus 8k uh, and plus 2ca that will be 6h right 2 into 1 into 3h that will be a uh, 6h so uh, this is what we got after opening the brackets and opening the this uh, square thing so uh, let's uh, simplify it what will be this 25h square minus 9h square right so 25h square minus 9h square will be 16h square okay then uh, this k square thing we add it up means we write this k square term so 25k square and uh, plus 16 that will be 9k square right plus 9k square here we get uh, when minus 250h right minus 250h only you know it will be uh, 10h here only yeah so uh, minus 250 and what is here 6 so minus 256 minus 256 h so this h term is also covered now take the k term it will be 25 into 6 means minus 150 and minus 150 this will be plus so this will be 142 right 142 k so these k terms are also covered. Now we are left with this 25 plus 9. That is 25 plus 9 means 34 into 25. So uh, 34 into 25. So 25 fours are 110. So this will be 25, 75 and 10, 76. So 760. So this will be our 760 here. And uh, what is constant term here so 24 k we have not covered okay so that also we have to move it let me first move it constant term so this will be uh, 760 right 2400 then 10 will be in carry 75 then 85 will come 75 and 10 85 will come here so this will be basically 850 850 uh, minus 1 and this 24 hk will come on this side it will become 24 hk i think it's clear 16 h square yeah so now what we will do we will replace this h and k by x and y okay so it will become 16 x square plus uh, 9 y square and take this thing 24xy, 24xy, uh, then what is there? Minus 256x plus 142y, and this 850 minus 1, that is 849 is equal to 0. So uh, this will be our answer. This will be the required equation of parabola. Okay. So hope uh, this is clear to all. And now let's check the next question. Question number 14. It is saying find the equation of parabola whose focus is given 
whose coordinates of focus is this and vertex coordinate is this. Means we are having the coordinates of this uh, focus and vertex, okay? And we need to find the equation of parabola, okay? So, this will be a direct This will be our direct trick somewhere, and this will be our axis. Okay, so uh, what is the focus? So, focus of this parabola is at uh, minus six, comma minus six, and uh, vertex is at this is our vertex. So, the coordinates of vertex is. Uh, minus two comma minus two comma two, and we need to find the equation of parabola. Okay, so we can do one thing. This is our directrix now. This is our directrix of the parabola, and uh, this is our axis, axis of parabola. So if I take point. If I take point as A, the point of intersection as A, so what will be the coordinates of A? Suppose I am saying the coordinates of A as uh, what you say, uh, this A comma B, okay. So basically, this vertex will be the midpoint of this A. So we know the vertex uh, coordinate, so we can find out the coordinates of this A, okay. So it will be basically uh, a minus six upon two will be the x coordinate of vertex that is given as minus two. From here we get a as uh, minus four plus six minus four means a will be equal to two. Okay, and uh, for b this will be basically b minus six upon two will be equal to uh, y coordinate of a vertex that is 2. So from here we get b is equal to uh, 6 and plus 4. right? So b will be equal to 10. So basically the coordinates of a is coordinates of a is what? Mm, 2 comma 10. We got the coordinates of a as uh, 2 comma 10. Okay, now what we can do? If we anyhow we can get the equation of directrix, right? So we are having the coordinates of this uh, focus. If anyhow we can arrange the equation of directrix, we can take any uh, point on this parabola P, right? And we can uh, write the equation of parabola like what we did in this last question so our target is to find this equation of directrix so how can we find this equation of directrix uh, like our target is to find this equation of directrix so if you see what will be the slope of this axis slope of axis slope of axis of parabola, it will be um, this minus 6 uh, minus 2, okay, upon minus 6 and plus 2. This will be equal to minus 8 upon uh, minus 4, that is 2, okay. So actually slope of uh, axis comes out to be 2. So our slope of directrix will be since both these lines are uh, perpendicular, it is making an angle of 90 degree. So our slope of directrix will be uh, minus of 1 by 2, right? Slope of directrix will be minus of 1 by 2. And it is passing through A comma B, okay? So we can easily write the equation of directrix as uh, Y minus Y1 is equal to M 
x minus x1. So x minus 2. Okay. So it will be basically 2y uh, minus 20 is equal to this say minus x plus 2. So 2y plus x Okay, 2y plus x minus 20 minus 2, that will be minus 22 is equal to 0. Or we can uh, simply write it as x plus 2y minus 22 is equal to 0. This is the equation of what? Uh, equation of directrix. Okay, so we got this uh, equation of directrix as x plus 2y minus 22 is equal to 0. Now, uh, what we can do, we can take any point on this parabola, okay, P, H, comma, K, uh, and we can equate these distances, this P, S, and P, okay, from here we can easily get the equation of our uh, parabola. So, suppose I am taking this as, what you say, P, S is equal to P, M, right? Now, what will be our PS? PS will be H plus 6. H plus 6 whole squared. Mm -hmm. Plus K plus 6 whole squared. Under root. So, better we take squares of this. H plus 6 squared plus K plus 6 squared. Uh, this is equal to this thing. 1 into what will be the perpendicular distance this pm it will be h plus h plus 2k h plus 2k minus 22 whole thing mod upon under root of uh, 1 square right under root of 1 square plus uh, 2 squared okay this whole thing whole squared so from here we get what uh, this will be our h square plus 36 plus uh, 12h plus k squared plus 36 plus 12k okay whole thing multiplied by what is this under root of uh, under root of 5 after squaring it will become 5 so after cross multiplying it will be whole multiplied by this and uh, this will be equal to our h plus 2k h plus 2k uh, minus 22 whole square so on solving this uh, we can easily find the equation of parabola so this was the concept in this question so i am leaving uh, this further expansion of this equation up to you so uh, please expand it and uh, uh, finally write the equation of the parabola so i think uh, this is clear the concept is clear like what we have done we were having this vertex and uh, coordinates of vertex and uh, uh, what you say focus yeah uh, so we got the equation of directrix by finding the coordinates of a and finding the coordinate uh, slope of this directrix after that we just equated this ps is equal to pm which is the basic condition for uh, parabola and after that we got this equation okay so uh, please expand it please expand it and uh, write it in the simplest form that will be our final equation of uh, parabola now let's see this question uh, find the vertex focus axis directrix and lattice rectum of the parabola this so uh, one parabola is given here whose equation is one parabola is given here 4y square plus 12x uh, minus 20y plus 67 is equal to 7, right? So uh, this is our given equation of parabola. We have to find the different parameters regarding this parabola like vertex, focus, axis, directrix and all. So uh, let's try to make it a perfect square in y and then we will compare with our standard form. So uh, this will be basically uh, 2y 
2 2y minus 20y is there, no? So uh, 2y minus 5 whole square. So this will become 4y square. Then minus of 2 into 2, 4, 5, 20y it is there. In plus 25, we are adding it. So uh, we have to subtract this minus 25. What else is remaining here? Uh, plus 12x and plus 67 is equal to 0, right? So what we got 2y minus 5 whole square uh, is equal to, take this thing to the right hand side, it will be uh, minus 12x and plus 67 minus 25, it will be 42, 42 means 52, 62, 67, yeah, 42. So after coming in this side, this is plus, no? So uh, it will be minus of 42. Further, we can write it as 2y minus 5 whole squared is equal to uh, bar. Means what we can we take common? We can take 6 common, no? 6, 2 and so yeah. So let's take uh, minus 6 common. So it will be 2x plus 7, right? Minus uh, 12x and minus of 42. Okay. But uh, here we are having, we are not having the coefficients of this y and x as 1. So for that, what we have to do, I am taking two common from uh, this bracket. So after coming out of the bracket, it will be in a squared form. So it will be basically 4 into uh, this y minus 5 by 2 squared is equal to this thing will be a uh, minus 6 and take 2 common from here. So it will be x plus 7 by 2, right? So 6 into 2, 12. So this thing will be minus 3. So finally, we got our equation of parabola as y minus 5 by 2 whole square is equal to minus 3 x plus 7 by 2. Hope this is clear to us up to this point. Now, what we will do, we will compare it with our standard parabola. Standard equation of parabola, that is y square is equal to uh, minus 4ax. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what will be the vertex of this parabola? So y minus 5 by 2 is equal to 0. From here we get y equal to 5 by 2. And uh, x, if you see x, so x plus 7 by 2 is equal to 0. From here we get x is equal to uh, minus 7 by 2. So this will be our coordinates of vertex. Vertex coordinates, right? So we got the coordinates of vertex. Right. Uh, can we draw a rough sketch for this? Y square is equal to minus 4ax. No. So let's uh, let's draw one rough sketch. One rough sketch. It will be y square is equal to minus 4ax, means it will be uh, leftward of okay, right. There will be some directrix for this. This will be the axis. Okay. This is in which form? Y square is equal to minus 4x. Okay. So, yeah, it will be a leftward opening only. So, our vertex, this is our uh, focus, right? This is our vertex. Uh, this is our axis and this is our directrix. So we got the vertex, we got the vertex as uh, 5 comma 2 and sorry, uh, x coordinate is x coordinate is your uh, minus 7 by 2. So the coordinates of vertex is minus 7 by 2 and y coordinate is 5 by 2. Okay. And uh, what next? We got vertex. What will be the focus? What will be focus? Like what will be the coordinates of S? 
so if you see this uh, parabola will be axis will be parallel to this uh, axis of this parabola will be parallel to x axis right so y coordinate of focus y coordinate of focus will be same as the uh, y coordinate of vertex okay so i am first writing the y coordinate and what will be this uh, x coordinate if you see what will be the value of a what will be the value of a from here from here we can uh, get the value of a so this thing this 4a 4a is equal to this 3 so a we got the value of a as 3 by 4 okay so basically uh, the what you say the x coordinate of focus will be this minus 7 by 2 the x coordinate of uh, vertices vertices and minus minus of this a that means minus of 3 by 4 so it will be nothing but this 4 2 times means minus 14 and minus 3 that will be minus 17 by 4 comma 5 by 2 this will be our uh, this will be this was our vertex and this will be the coordinates of our uh, focus now what will be the axis axis is nothing but axis uh, will be uh, parallel to uh, x axis right so it will be equal to y equal to some constant that is nothing but y is equal to this coordinate axis uh, y coordinate of this either you can take parallel vertex or uh, focus so y is equal to 5 by 2 let me write here also these coordinates these are minus 7 by 2 and 5 by 2 and the focus will be uh, minus 17 by 4 comma 5 by 2 okay so axis will be basically line parallel to x axis and uh, that will be y is equal to 5 by 2 so uh, we got this vertex this focus this axis now what is the directrix? Okay, so for directrix, for directrix, for this type of parabola, y square uh, is equal to minus 4ax, right? This uh, directrix will be parallel to, this will be parallel to y axis, right? This will be parallel to uh, y axis. In this, in this particular case, the directrix will be parallel to y-axis or you can say perpendicular to x-axis since uh, x-axis uh, line per per parallel to x-axis is the axis. So a uh, directrix will be parallel to y-axis and its value will be this, uh, if you see this uh, vertex ka jo, uh, y coordinate, hai, the y coordinate of vertex and plus this a, that means uh, y is equal to uh, this 5 by sorry uh, not y equal to x equal to if I have uh, seen uh, like if I have said uh, y equal to constant I was wrong actually it will be x is equal to some constant not y is equal to some constant it will be x equal to some constant so I'm taking my words back if I have uh, mistakenly spoken like uh, y equal to constant. So directrix will be parallel to y axis and uh, it will be the equation of directrix will be x equal to this thing, this minus 7 by 2, okay, minus 7 by 2 and plus a, what is a plus 3 by 4. So this will be basically 4 uh, minus 14, minus 14 plus 3, that is minus 11 by 4. So this will be our directrix. X is equal to minus 11 by 4 will be our directrix. So we found this directrix also. Now what? Lattice rectum. Okay. So lattice rectum is nothing but lattice rectum. The length of lattice rectum is 4 times A. 4 times A. So that will be 4 times what is A? A is 3 by 4. So it will be equal to 3 units. Okay, so hope this uh, this is clear to all. So, like one equation of parabola is given, and a question is asking about the different uh, parameters of the parabola, like vertex, focus, axis. So we have uh, completed all these things.
So we got this vertex, focus, axis, direct fix, and data structure. So this was our question number 15. Let's see the next one. Find the name of the conic represented by this equation. Okay. So one equation is given here. This uh, x by a. Okay. Under root. Then plus under root of y by b is equal to 1. Okay. So uh, first let's square it. So after squaring what we get x by a plus y by uh, b plus 2 under root 2 times under root of x y by a b right this whole thing will be under root and is equal to 1 right now what i will do i will move this to right hand side and again i will square it so this will be x by a plus y by b okay and this thing will be 1 minus uh, 2 times under root of x y upon a b okay now we can further square it so what we get we will have x square by a, a square plus y square upon b square okay uh, plus 2 times x y upon a b is equal to 1 plus uh, 4 times x y upon a b right a square plus b square uh, minus 2 a b means minus 2 1 into a means that will be basically 4 times 4 times uh, under root of x y upon a b right this will be what we get or we can we could have done one thing like uh, to avoid this thing what we could have done, we could have taken this one to the left hand side and we can, we could have taken this two root x y by a b along to the means that term alone is in the right hand side. That would be uh, better, I think. So uh, let's try in that way. Okay. So I will take uh, this one to left hand side and I will take this is root thing to our right hand side. So, our calculation will be easy. So, x by a plus y by b minus 1, okay, this thing and uh, this thing I am taking to right hand side. So, this will be 2 under root x y upon a b. Now, we square bo both hand sides. So, uh, what we will get, it will give me x square upon a square, a square plus b square okay plus c square plus 2ab that is uh, 2xy upon ab plus 2bc that is uh, minus 2y upon b plus 2ca that is minus 2x upon a okay this is what we got from left hand side and it will be basically 4 times xy upon uh, ab okay uh, now simplify it take uh, lcm so this will be a square b square so we got x square b square plus uh, this uh, a square y square okay and what else this will be a square b square uh, 2ab xy okay and this will be b no so a square b 2a square b y and minus 2ab square x right this will be equal to 4xy upon ab. So we can cancel this ab with 1ab. Okay. And now we can cross multiply it. We can cross multiply it. So it will be basically uh, b square x square. Okay. Uh, then uh, 2ab xy. Then a square y square. Okay. What else? Uh, minus 2ab square x minus 2a square b y and this constant term this uh, what a square plus b square okay plus a square b square is equal to uh, 4xy 4xy into ab okay or uh, 4ab into xy you can say so i am taking this to left hand side i am uh, 
okay and i'm writing it directly here so this will be basically minus of 2ab this thing will become minus of 2ab uh, into xy and this will after taking into uh, taking it to left hand side so it will be minus of 2ab xy is equal to 0 okay so this is what we got after doing all this now uh, let me remind you like what is the general equation like question is asking to find which conic this equation represents right so uh, what is the general equation of second degree conic general equation of uh, second degree conic hope uh, everyone is aware with this general equation of conic it is nothing but a x square right a x square plus 2 h x y okay plus b y square plus a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to z right for here uh, for this general equation of second degree we are having different conditions for which this uh, equation represent different conics like if delta is not equal to zero if delta is not equal to zero now what is delta delta is nothing but this value a b c plus 2 f g h uh, minus a f square minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square right so this is our delta if delta is not equal to zero and our h square this thing is h square is equal to a b if delta is not equal to 0 and our h square is equal to a b if these two conditions are satisfied by any of the uh, second degree uh, conic then it means it will represent a parabola okay these two conditions these two conditions if satisfied by equation if satisfied by this uh, general degree equation e okay if satisfied by e it will represent it will represent parabola it will represent parabola okay so from here if you see from here so this is the first condition this is the second condition so uh, what is h here if you see here the value of h will be value of h will be a b right means 2 h if you consider if you compare this 2 h is equals to 2 a b right so our h is coming out to be a b and uh, what is uh, this capital a and capital b capital a is nothing but the coefficient of x square okay that is uh, b square in this case and uh, what is b capital b capital b is nothing but the coefficient of y square which is a square in this case so here if you can see h square is equal to h square is equal to a b so this condition 2 is getting satisfied right and this if you calculate this value of delta that is a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square okay i have written here in the short form right now but uh, here i have written it in capital form so let me write it in this way so otherwise it may create a misunderstanding to all of you so this will be a b c okay this delta will be uh, a b c okay plus 2 f g h okay 2 f g h plus uh, b y square no a b c plus uh, 2 f g h minus a f square so this will be minus of a f square minus of b g square and minus of c h square okay so 2 f g h yeah okay let me write it as capital 
So this delta ABC plus 2FGH minus AF square minus BG square minus CH square, you put, you compare uh, this equation with this and you will get the value of delta to be non-negative. Hence, this equation basically represent delta is equal to, delta will uh, be coming out to be non-zero and H square will be equal, H square is equal to AB, which I have already seen here. So this equation basically represents a parabola. Okay, you uh, please verify by putting the different values of this uh, A, B, C and you will be having uh, the value of delta will be coming out to be non-negative, uh, sorry, uh, non-zero. Okay, so uh, this is all for uh, this question number 16. Now let's take this question number 17. Similar question. Uh, determine the name of the curve described parametrically by the equation this, right? So uh, the x and y coordinates are given in parametric form. So our x is given as t square uh, plus t plus 1, okay? And uh, our y is given as t square uh, minus t plus 1, okay? So this X and Y are given in parametric uh, forms. And now we have to represent like which uh, curve this parametric form will generate. Like what will be the name of the curve whose parametric form is given by this. So uh, let's try it. Like let's add both these equations. So what we will have, we will have this X plus Y is equal to 2T square plus 2. Okay, so 2t square plus 2. Means I have taken two common, so it will be 2t square plus 2. Uh, so this will be one thing. And now uh, one more thing you can do. You can subtract it also. So it will be x minus y is equal to. This thing will be cancelled out. This one will also cancel out. This will be 2t. Okay, so this two equations what we got. Uh, now what I will do. Uh, from here, uh, we got the value of T as X minus Y upon 2. Okay. We will uh, substitute this value of T in equation 1. And we will uh, solve further. So, what I will do, I will substitute this value here. So, we will get X plus Y is equal to 2, uh, 2 into T square. No, So, this will be basically X minus Y upon 2 whole squared. Uh, plus 1. Okay. This is what we get. So x plus y will be equal to this will be 4 x square plus y square minus 2xy, right? 2xy plus 4. And this is x plus y anyhow. So uh, this will be 2 times. So this after cross multiplication it will become 2x plus 2y is equal to uh, this x square plus y square uh, minus 2xy and what plus 4, right? This is what we what we, we will get. So uh, finally it will become x square plus I'm doing here x square plus y square minus 2xy, okay? minus 2x uh, minus 2y okay plus 4 is equal to 0. So similarly what we have done in the last question we will compare with the general second degree equation and we will find this value of delta delta and the delta should not be equal to 0 like we will find first value of delta and uh, we will see this h square is coming out to be a b or if these two conditions satisfied, means this equation will represent a parabola. So uh, let's check this. Uh, let's check it out in this question. Like last question, I have left it to you. So let's see here. So uh, in this equation, if you see, what will be our A? Okay, I'm writing in the short form only. I'm, uh, otherwise, it's creating confusion. So uh, this will be h square is equal to ab. These two conditions for parabola, we will check uh, one after one. So 
first uh, tell me what will be a so a will be equal to 1 okay what will be uh, b b will be equal to 1 uh, 2h is equals to 2h is equals to uh, minus 2 right 2h x y so from here we get h is equals to minus 1 so a is known to us b is known to us uh, 2gx so 2g is equals to uh, minus 2 so g will be equal to minus 1 2f is equals to uh, minus 2 so f is also minus 1 and c is equal to 4 right in this question i am doing it so that uh, uh, you can uh, see how we get this value of delta and uh, this h square is equal to ab or not how we uh, used to compare so if you see delta is nothing but a b c okay plus 2 f g h uh, minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square right so this is a b c means what a into b into c that will be 4 uh, plus 2 f is minus 1 g is minus 1 h is also minus 1 and minus a a is 1 f square means it will be 1 minus b b is 1 and g square it will be 1 minus c c is 4 so this will be minus 4 only h is uh, minus 1 so this is coming out to be 4 and uh, 2 this will be completely minus 2 then uh, minus 6 so from here you see 4 minus 8 no minus 8 plus 4 means this is minus 4 so delta is coming out to be non-zero okay so this condition is satisfied this condition is fulfilled now what is h square h square is equal to minus 1 ka whole square that is equal to 1 and uh, a b a b is 1 into 1 that is also 1 so this h square is equal to a b so this condition is also getting satisfied. So since these two conditions are getting satisfied, we can say this above equation represents parabola. There are other conditions also for this uh, general uh, second degree equation of conic. Okay. But since we are dealing with parabola, most probably the question uh, will be asking for parabola only. So I am uh, checking for parabola, but if this uh, suppose this uh, delta will be coming out to be zero right then it will it uh, will represent a pair of straight lines similarly there are other conditions also for other conics like for a uh, hyperbola and ellipse that we will uh, take care in the coming sessions okay so uh, this equation is representing one parabola that is for sure so this is done question number 17 Okay. What is this question asking? Prove that the equation of parabola whose uh, vertex and focus are on the x-axis at a distance of a and a dash from the origin respectively is this. So let me uh, draw one uh, rough sketch for this. This is our uh, parabola. This is our uh, sorry. This will be our okay. Let's see. So it is saying the equation of parabola whose vertex and focus are on the x-axis. Okay, means this is our x-axis basically. This is our x-axis. Uh, this is our y-axis. Okay. And suppose this is our focus S. This is our vertex V. Okay. So it is saying that vertex and focus are at a distance A and A dash from the origin. Okay. So uh, suppose this is our origin O. So this distance is given as A, right? 
distance from O to this V is given as A and uh, this distance is given as A dash. This is what the question is saying. Whose vertex and focus are on the X axis. Yeah, it is there at a distance A and A dash from the origin. Then prove that this will be the equation of parabola. Okay. So basically what will be our coordinates of this S? Coordinates of S will be basically A dash comma zero. Okay. And this coordinate, uh, coordinate of this B will be A comma zero. Coordinate of B will be A comma zero, right? And what will be this distance? This B is, this B is will be nothing but uh, A dash minus A. A dash minus A. Okay. So any parabola whose axis is parallel, whose axis is parallel to X axis, right? How do we write that uh, equation? We used to write it as y square is equal to 4ax. Okay. Or let me write it in this way. Y as capital. So we usually write it as in this format. This is the standard uh, parabola whose axis is parallel to x axis. Right? Whose axis is parallel to x axis and whose uh, Vertex is at origin or 0, 0. Now, in this case, in this case, if you see, uh, what is this basically? This 4a represents 4a, or what is this a represents? A represents nothing but this distance between. What is this a? Distance between. Distance between. Vertex and a focus, right? Vertex and focus. So in this particular case, what is given in the question? What is A? A is nothing but A dash minus A. A dash minus A, right? And uh, how much is this, uh, uh, what we say? This is, uh, what is the vertex here? Vertex is A, no? Vertex for this parabola is A. Coordinate of vertex is A comma 0. So this X will be replaced by X minus A. Right? No, its coordinate will be replaced by this X. This thing, this X minus A is equal to 0. Means X is equal to A. That is the X coordinate of vertex. That will be X coordinate of vertex, which is known to us. A comma zero. Okay, so in this equation, what we have to do in this equation, we have to replace this y square will be as it is, four will be as it is, a will be replaced by this a dash minus a, and this x will be replaced by x minus a. This is what the uh, question is saying. So definitely, this will be the equation of parabola for the given conditions, right? So this was our question number 18. Uh, I think oh, one or two questions, 19 and 20. Yeah, two questions are there. Okay, we will close it. We will close it now. So uh, what is uh, saying in question number 19? Find the equation of the parabola uh, whose axis is parallel to x axis, right? And which passes through these points also find its lattice vector okay so it's better to draw on the face sketch uh, find the equation of parabola whose axis is parallel to x axis no okay so parabola will look like something this This is the directrix and uh, this is the axis of the parabola. Okay. What else information is given? Its axis is parallel to x axis. Okay. And it is passing through the points this, this and this. Okay. So parabola is passing through these points. Okay. Then let's consider this point as A whose coordinates are 0, 4. Okay. And uh, Let's take this coordinate as 
this point as B whose coordinates are 1 comma 9. Let's take this as C whose coordinates are minus 2 comma 6. So this is our axis which is parallel to x axis. This is what is given in the question. Okay. And it is passing through these three points. So we have to write the equation of parabola. Okay. So how can we do that? Like uh, any parabola, right? Any parabola whose axis is parallel to x axis. This is what is given in the question. We can write it in this form. This x is equal to this a y square plus b y plus c equal to 0. No. x is equal to a y square plus b y plus c. Right. This uh, parabola will represent represent uh, parabola. Okay. This equation will represent parabola whose axis is whose axis is parallel to x axis. Whose axis is parallel to x axis. Right. Now, uh, since these three points through these three points parabola is passing, it means it will satisfy the equation of parabola. So this uh, point A that will be 0 comma 4. If we put here what we will get, we will get 4 is equal to not 4, x is 0. No? So x is 0 means 0 is equal to this 4 squared that will be 16a. Okay, 16a plus 4b and plus c. So this is our first equation. Now let's take put this point B. So it will be x is equal to 1, 9 squared means 81a plus uh, 9b plus c is equals to 0. This will be our second equation. This point c minus 2 comma 6, right? So uh, minus 2 will be equal to uh, 6 squared means 36. 36a plus 6b and uh, plus c is equal to 0. So we are having three equations, three angles, three equations and uh, three angles. So we can definitely find it out. Okay. After finding the value of a, b, c, you put in this equation, that will be our answer. Right. That will be our answer. So I am not going to solve this. Three equations we have made in terms of A, B, and C, right? And uh, the, uh, three unknowns are there. So it we can be uh, easily solved it out. So please do it and put the value of A, B, C in the given equation. That will be our answer. That will be uh, our equation of the parabola. So, okay. This is our last question, question number 20 of first exercise. So this equation, this A, X square, uh, plus 4xy plus y square plus ax plus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. So this equation represents a parabola. Okay. The question itself says that this equation is representing a parabola. Then we have to find the value of a. Okay. So uh, we know here this 2h is equals to uh, 2h is equals to 4. So h is equals to 2. Okay. Now, what is the value of a here? a is the uh, coefficient of x square. So a is equal to a here. We will take it. And what is the value of b? b is the coefficient of y square. That is 1. Right? So for uh, this equation to represent a parabola, this h square must be equal to a b. Right? Now, what is h square? That is 4. And uh, a, we have to find the value of a, b is 1. So from here, we got the value of a as 4. So a must be equal to 4 for representing this equation to be a parabola. So I think we are done with this exercise. I think the video uh, is also long for this particular exercise. Anyhow, we can't help. Uh, so uh, this is all for today. Uh, we will uh, come back soon with our next exercise on parabola, that is exercise 2. So uh, till then, uh, Tata, goodbye. And you all, please take care of yourself.